I attended Catherine's meetings and I was, and I was deeply influenced by the schoolman's ministry and her ministry uh, had a lot of music. Now here's what I feel. I believe that Catherine Kuhlman had the same anointing as Elisha had. Elisha, the Bible talks about, uh, was uh, very much influenced by music. Uh, there's one instant in the world where uh, he had a man come and play an instrument before Elisha could hear the voice of God. Uh, I believe the Lord has given me that same kind of thing where I am very influenced by music. But what I believe people are hungry for today is entering into God's presence. And they're also hungry not only to feel the presence of God, but to be touched by the power of God. And this is why I feel the day has come when we ministers need to release the anointing. Jesus. Jesus. Heal your people, Master. Your word declares he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we were healed. As the presence of God begins to fall in a meeting. Heal your saints. Something will begin happening to me. And I rebuke every spirit of disease here. The anointing will come on me. Suddenly I change. Everything about me changes. The way I think changes. The way I am changes. I become clear. I become bold. I become quick. It's as though someone takes the scales off my eyes. It's as though my mind is free from fog. It's as though someone opens the window, opens the door. And everything is as crisp and clear spiritually. It's as crisp and clear as though I was watching a screen. I command you, spirit of disease and pain. I command you, you devil of sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who defeated you on the cross of Golgotha 2,000 years ago. In the name of Jesus Christ, whose I am and whom I preach, I command you, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the people in this place, let the people in this place, there's power in Jesus' name against you. Let the people in this place, I command it. You devil of infirmity, you've held God's people long enough. I come against you by the blood of the Lamb. I come against you by the shed blood of the cross of Jesus Christ, my Redeemer. And I command you in Jesus' mighty name right now, let the people in this place, let the people in this Colosseum, right now let them go! Let them go in Jesus' mighty name, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go! Oh people, lift your hands up high, receive your miracle! Lift those hands up high, receive your healing! The power of Satan has been broken, receive your healing, I give you praise, Jesus! I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. Somebody's cancer has just been healed to my right. I give you praise, wonderful Lord. People, the power of sickness has been broken here. Now lift your hands up high and ask Jesus to heal you right now. And that's when I begin knowing someone is being Lord healed. Jesus, I and the moment I Our say those words, that's when people begin reaching out place. and touching the Our Lord's garment. I have been told by my staff that the moment I rebuke sickness, I'm on the platform with thousands in the stadium. The moment I begin rebuking sickness, my staff have said to me, it's like electricity all through the building. And people begin to do things immediately that I'm not able to see. 
So they are in the presence of God. But the moment I say someone is being healed of, that's, that's me. They receive it. It is the, and, and it's theirs. It's them. And that's what reduces their, their faith. With Oral, Oral had to touch them. He felt it on his hand. I don't feel anything on my hand. Instead, I feel it all through my being. And there are times when that power is so great, my whole body goes numb. Not just my hands, my whole body goes numb. Now, something happens often in those crusades that I cannot describe to you except to say this. Sometimes halfway in that meeting, I will feel my hand go numb, not hot, numb. It's as though I, 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 uh, I get plugged into some uh, electric uh, plug or something. And the second it goes numb, and I've seen this over the years, the anointing intensifies in the meeting. The power of God becomes stronger. Uh, uh, unbelievable things begin happening that had not been happening up, up to that point. It's almost like a sign from God that uh, I've intensified the power now. <laughs> Pick it up. Where is the husband? What's happening to your back, honey? Lord, if we met who? Pick it up again. What is wrong with his back? Are you a husband? I think one of the great contrasts 